Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and I want to introduce you to our newest little cutie. Oh my gosh, this is Yoda. I mean, obviously you can see why he's named that. Yoda the White's Tree Frog, and you have met Sluggo a White's Tree Frog years ago, but sadly Sluggo has passed away. But nonetheless, this little cutie is here to stay. He's still pretty young. You can tell by the size there. Now you might remember me talking about these White's Tree Frogs. Such a cool animal. You're going to notice that they have these incredible toe pads there. Obviously, they're a tree frog, so those toe pads are sticky and allows them to hang out in the trees, obviously, which is where they're going to live their life. Now, unlike a typical frog, these guys aren't going to live on the shore of a pond or things like that. They live, live up in the trees, hence the name tree frog. But what they do is they find plants that actually, and leaves that harbor water, and they live around that water rather than a large body like a pond, a lake, or something like that. Now, on top of that, these guys are found in all territories. They're found in moist areas, they're found in dry areas, but there has to be some sort of water around for them. But the cool thing is, these white tree frogs, they have the ability to actually secrete a waxy substance that covers their body, and it actually entombs them in an all-time all moist environment. So when it does get dry, they don't dry out. So that's something, obviously, they'll have to worry about in those dry areas. Now, the other neat thing about these guys is when they're upset, or they're threatened, they actually emit a really loud scream. It's really eerie to hear, and obviously in the middle of the night, it's going to scare the patoots out of you if you're walking through the forest and actually hear these guys. Now, what forest? Not here in Montana. We're talking about Australia, New Guinea, um, that uh, New Zealand, that part of the world. These guys are not found here in the U.S. And last but not least, the girls, they're a little bit bigger than the boys, and they can lay a lot of eggs, upwards of 150 to 300 eggs at one time. Just incredible. But nonetheless, what a cool animal. When you're here at the zoo, this little guy does like to hide. He often is found in the corner of his house, so you have to look really close but if you can get a close look I want you to notice their eyes they have that horizontal pupil where most frogs actually their pupils go up and down and then also that little ridge over their eye great way to tell you're looking at a white tree frog guys until next time I'm Jeff the nature guy here at zoo Montana we'll see you at the zoo